Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We left off last episode setting up some bedrooms, uh, defending from our first raid, which was just one measly little dude. Hang on, I'm gonna adjust my microphone a little bit there. Uh, and, uh, basically just getting some, some creature comfort set up. We actually have beds now, which means I can get rid of this. And here, why don't we go ahead and pop in furniture. Actually tell them to, li oh, that's... Not, maybe not lay them down right in the way. I'm really deforesting the region to get all the wood required for this, though. And right now I'm skipping over a lot of things to try to get electricity down. Because I want the air conditioning. I want the air conditioning. And we're going to need to get in interior grow zones going. Animal starvation. Um. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you, dude. I can't make you kibble. I don't want to give you any of my food. All right, let's go ahead and oh, you know, we can put animals sleeping box. I can make them out of slate. I have a little bit of slate laying around. I like putting animal animal sleeping spots in uh, bedrooms so that the animals can kind of sleep at the foot of the bed, kind of thing. Also, if they come out nice, oh, that's poor. So they can make the room a little nicer, but no, it didn't do didn't do that good of a job on it. Normal. Okay. So the animals can sleep in there if need be. And need more outdoor temperature is going to reach minus 14. Oh wow. Ooh. A recruiter named Kasumi is crashing in a transport pond nearby. She, if she survives the impact, she it will be badly wounded, is not affiliated with any faction. All right, Katsumi. What are the odds of the first person dropping down becoming a Borg because they're transhumanist? Oh my God. Oh my God. And she's not a total dipshit either. How's her health though? She's, she's not that far away and she's not that badly hurt. Interesting. Okay, so five of five. Go rescue Kasumi. That is freaking amazing. What I'll do is, because she's not affiliated with any faction, so chances are she'll join me. I will, uh... I'll rescue her, tend her up, and hopefully she'll join. If she doesn't, I'll just capture her. Oh, four meds. Ooh... Four meds on, 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 on you. That's that's a tough pill to swallow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think having another wash tub like near the dining area is a good idea, so they can wash up before slash after eating. Oh, you know what we should also do? Cut plants. Cut cut that tree down because it's in the damn way. How's the food situation? Still fine. And it's getting colder out, so that means this stuff should actually be freezing. Yeah. Let's go ahead and hunt these caribou here. Because now that the temperature's going down, and this stuff... It only got half grown. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it. Free food. Might as well. I cannot believe the first person that 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 popped out is a transhumanist. Cannot believe that. That is what what freaking luck. When I did a when I did my uh, cannibal colony, I did I, I did basically the same thing. I was like, okay, I will only take cannibals into the colony because thematically that that tracks. So I had to you know wait till that one in twenty person I found was a cannibal, then hope that we didn't kill them in a when they, you know they were attacking the colony or something like that. So by the end of the game, I only had like seven people or something like that from the original three, and uh, just the odds of actually a transhumanist popping that has got to be, and one that's not a total dipshit too. Maybe maybe we should give you a uh, yeah. Some light in there. 
Well, the temperature's not that, but yeah, the temperature actually is going up during the day. Yeah, we should, we're okay on food. And what we got down here? So we've got a lot of plain leather. Can I, okay, I don't know what kind of clothing I can make right now. Uh, butcher table, simple research bench, basic prosthetics. Uh, so what I would need to do, is it a crafting spot? I need a crafting spot. Right there. And then what I can do is I can do smoke leaf joint, tribal headdress, war mask, war veil, tribal wear club, knife, short bow, recruit bow. Let's see. So this produces, well, why don't we, why don't we do this? I don't know what this stuff will do for me. So let's just make one of each and see what happens and see what their effects are. Let's see. So one of five is the best. So let's put you on smithing and tailoring and crafting two. Well, you're already on construct two. But we're not constructing anything right now, so that's fine. Oh, those mushrooms are ready to harvest. Kind of just going around seeing if anything. Anything harvestable around here, food-wise? Uh, yeah, some. there's some stuff. Mushrooms and berries and stuff. That's fine. Caribou had a lot of leather on him. I I would assume that at least one of those head... You know, these, these headpieces I'm going to... Oh, shh. Well. Oh, God. Yeah, they're just sharing. You can do it. One of these days. Oh, I think he hit him. Oh, right in the neck. Well, there there goes the corgi. What's that war mask made out of? Is it wood? Let's see. And uh, artistically terrifying war mask hides the wearer's face and makes them more confident. It actually does cover the face. And provide some armor. And the tiniest bit of insulation. Is anybody gonna... Oh, there, there, there we go. Two of fives like, yeah, I got this. Well. I'm not super bent out of shape about that. It's not great, obviously. You know, you don't want your animals to die. But what are you going to do? And the temperature is going, starting to go down, so. Uh, well, we're not really doing what, do we make anything else? Do we, maybe we don't have the materials for them. Uh, War Veil. 20 ingredients, yeah, that's, that's like hair or wool. It's probably the same thing here, yeah. So why don't we just make four more of these war masks? Let's do that. Two fives is about a quarter done with the electricity research already. I just need to get that, those basics done. I need to get at least, I don't need to go crazy with it yet, but we'll figure out how electricity works before we figure out how pipes work. I think we might need to uh, start putting these, we might want to start putting these people on actual, um, what's it called? Uh, doodles. Uh, <laughs> shit, why am I blanking? Uh, schedules. We'll go that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So that's that'd be a room right there. So build copy, build copy right there. So some of this would need to get worked on too. So let's go ahead and tell them that we would want to mine all that out. And structure. Good. Bridge. I think it's funny is that like the curtain is this is, is, is this tribal thing. Oh, I can make it out of I was about to say I can't make it because I got the cloth here, but no, I can make it out of other stuff. Here, let's go ahead and deconstruct this. And we'll put in a um a light leather tribal thingy. 
Just because I think it looks cool. Yeah, we'll do that here too. And what I'll what I could what I usually end up doing is this this hallway gets closed off. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just pump heat directly into this hallway and then it'll just radiate laterally into the, the bedrooms. You know, that that'll come. That'll come. This stuff needs to get hauled out. So my constructors are busy right now though. Man, we are really producing that feces, aren't we? I think we need another burn pit. Let's do, I mean, it's it's like 20 steel or something like that for a burn pit, so it's not a big deal. So I'll we'll have to lay down all of that. I mean, the war masks do provide a little bit for them. Oh, I wonder, no, 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 the other, the other I was gonna say, I wonder if I could use leather for the other facial wares, but no, those were specifically like fur or hair. There, that goes there. Yeah, that's like the, getting those up was kind of like the, the biggest hurdle there. I don't know why I want to use those curtains, but I do. Curtain there, curtain there. It's cute. Privacy curtain. I was say, maybe get the one in the bathroom set up. How's Katsumi doing? Getting there. Oh, you got shot in the neck. Oh, my. Yeah, that'll do it. I think one of five's a constructor. Can you, can you work on this? Need light leather. We ran out of light leather? Oh, okay. Must be plain leather, then. Yeah, we got plain leather. Yeah, just get that done real quick, like quick like a bunny. Privacy curtain. Well, it said they move through them really quickly. Yeah, they just fly right through it. It's actually kind of nice. And then what we're gonna do is maybe we should wait until we're done mining, mining this stuff out. Oh, and what we can also do is cancel that one. Construction botched. Good job. So everybody should have a war mask now. Five of five. Right? I made one. Didn't I done tell them to make four more? Hmm. Yeah. It, when the sun goes down, it gets nice and cool in here. Not cool enough, though. The heat definitely radiates through the walls. Tell them to do that. Insulate from the heat coming from the building, I'm thinking. A friendly AI from your past name, Char uh, Charlon Whitestone, sent you a message. It reveals that uh, he has a starship pinned on the planet and sends you its world coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence is complete. So there it is, and normally it's gonna be like on the opposite side of the planet from you, because I'm way over here. There I am. Oh, we are almost out of wood again. Kinda hope Katsumi joins us, that'll be really sweet. Look at that, almost half done with the, the research. Because like if it's it could also be heat when they're going in and out, radiating. Hmm. Well, it's only two degrees C in there. That'll that's better than nothing. Oh look, it's actually making progress. Oh, you know what? But these guys will probably try to eat it. Well, we'll we'll watch them. If they try to eat it, we'll kill them. Who's my best miner? Two of five and four of five. Oh, they're both, they're both equally talented. We'll call it that. Getting more people out of the barracks, I think, would be a good idea. Who's idle? Oh. 
I mean, two of what's two of five doing? Oh, he's researching. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and uh, start working on some of this other stuff then? Goes like that. Goes like that. There we go. All those. We're also going to need to keep chopping down. We're going to need to get further and further away from the base. Or just chop down all the wood in this area as well. It's time to get it all. Care uh, well, th I mean, we've been here for a little while. This is the third episode in, and that's the first bit of meat that rotted away. And it was only four. I mean, it'll, it'll probably start happening again, uh, more and more often, but it's not the end of the world. Very sm considering this is on Savage, very smooth start. It's weird. How's Katsumi doing? Yeah, you slept on the ground. Transhuman is frustrated, slept in the cold, minor pain, but you're almost healed. You just got a, well, there's the crack on the, oh, there we go. Just have that, that bruise, you know, where you got shot in the neck. Oh, oh it's too cold outside. All the rice is dying. I don't think we can harvest any of this. Well, the sun's coming up. That looks so derpy. We're gonna have to fix that later, but you know, we're working on the electricity thing. All right, sorry about that. I had to stop for a little bit there because there was lots of noise in my apartment. Okay, the laundry was being done. So we gotta keep our eyes on Katsumi here. Also, it's, you know what? It's getting really cold out. Let's tell them to just harvest whatever these plants we can get. Otherwise, we're just going to lose them. We're going to have to watch Katsumi here. Let's turn this into a prisoner's room. I kind of feel like if Katsumi was going to join us, she would have done it by now. So I think what's going to end up happening is we're just going to have to arrest her. But we'll have a prisoner's room set up. Hopefully, she won't be that tough. I just I can't let her go. It's too much potential. Yeah, look at that. And you got also the elk in here are like, I'm going to eat all your rice. Excellent. Good. Because the snows are going to start falling. And the temperature is going to keep getting worse. What do we got here? Oh, it's almost done. Point two. Done. And she's trying to leave. Arrest. Yep, there we go. No can do, friendo. Prisoner, recruit. Oh, look at that. Uh, pretty low resistance and recruitment difficulty is only 40%. And let's go ahead and put down some wood flooring in these areas. Um, I think we'll just leave that for now. There's other stuff we could do, but let's just leave that for now. I just heard an animal. Screaming. I wonder what that was. I don't remember telling him to hunt anything. Oh, it looks like some more of this stuff is kind of coming of age. I really just want to get it harvested. What, anything I can have harvested, I just want to harvest now. Ugh, sent five whole meals just rotted away. I do not love that. But, what are you gonna do? I couldn't exactly make any pemmican or anything like that because I didn't have any vegetable component. I have a little bit of rice now, but it's not going to get me far. Yeah, the temperature is going to start re- yeah, look at that. And it's just going to keep getting worse every night. I don't want it to die, because if it dies, it's just a waste. If I harvest a little bit, I get a little bit. Oh, you know what we could do? Smooth off that surface. That'll make it just the slightest bit less hideous. Is that monkey eating my rice? That monkey ate some of my rice. Well, it's a bonded pet. I can't just murder it. And that is a lot. Man, these people, five people produce a lot of waste. Ooh, a party. Oh, and the elk are eating it too. No, I don't, I, I don't want to hunt them. Can't eat the food fast enough. Well, at least I'll have a little mood boost from having a party. That's good. 
There we go. Better. I didn't get a lot of rice. We used some of it, obviously. I didn't get a lot, but it was a little bit. Is that water underneath the bed? It looks like it. Can someone maybe just clean the room? Unsightly, awful prison cells, slept in cold, ate without table. Well, why don't you just shut up? There we go. Now it's better. And might as well turn this other one into another bedroom. There. Copy of that right there. And then... Uh, smooth surface. Might as well do all that right there. This is already just a normal granite wall. So all is well. I think now we're just going to get rid of this. Well, we'll just leave it there for now. I think eventually, though, I'll just get rid of this grow zone, because I want to move them over this way. I want the bedrooms to go in here, down like that. Two parallel blocks of rooms. And then ideally, I'll, I could always go up into the mountain, too, if I need more room. Mine that out, put a door there, put a door at wherever the end, other end of this, so there's a long hallway separating the two blocks of bedrooms there. And that's how we'll do our beds. Okay, this will go to three of five. Here we go. Not exactly... It's not exactly warm in there, but it's not that bad. It's warmer than outside, that's for certain. Yeah, having this... You know... Oh, God. That sounded close. Holy shit! I have never had a meteorite of solid, compacted machinery before. That's amazing. I'm going to leave it there for now. Because I don't trust my people to mine it out and then not destroy all the components. Maybe mine out just a little bit of it. Let's do, like, three sections. Don't do a lot. I don't trust you to not to... Not, someone to not have a mental break and then just to go, I'm going to destroy all the components because I've had that happen before very often at the start of a colony. I'm actually making good progress here. Look at that. We just need that, and then we need that, and then we'll, we'll, our food situation will be fine. In theory. In theory. And we've got Katsumi. Katsumi's not going to be hard uh, to force into the colony. Really easy to recruit. Not a bad recruit either. Someone... Well, there's food on the ground, you idiot. N never mind, never mind. It's fine. Decent at melee, couldn't cook, good artist, fast learner, high social. It's not bad at all. Okay, cool. That's not it's gonna take a little while, but not not as it's not nearly as bad as it possibly could be. Just the fact oh we got idle people left and right. Just the fact that um there is somebody that can that's not a total dipshit is good. Two more. Is there any? See, I don't think we. I don't think we need any prosthetics. Nobody else right now can do that. Um, how's their clothes? Need warm clothes. Not really much we can do in terms of clothes because all we can do is tribal wear. So what else could I have my people doing right now? Not much, really. Kind of, I'm kind of waiting on stuff. Hmm. Well, I could have them keep keep deforesting so we can get construction material. That's something we can do. Because I could always just keep working on the bedrooms. That's always an option. I can't believe I got a meteorite of cut pack of machinery. I didn't even think that was a thing that could happen. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we only got one component off of that one. I thought it was guaranteed two or three, but maybe it's like between one and three. That makes sense. 
All right, resistance down to 10-7. Alrighty, but I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you have enjoyed the series, and I will see you all next time.